Welcome to Tech With Heart. I am your host, Michelle Calloway, founder and CEO of Revealio. Tech With Heart is all about empowering entrepreneurs. And I'm super excited about our topic today because cryptocurrency is probably something you've heard of, but you don't necessarily know really what it is or how to incorporate it into your business. And today's special guest is going to help us learn how we can use cryptocurrency to fund our business. So without further ado, let me introduce to you our very special guest. Her name is Sophia Olivas, and she is a visionary. She is a technology innovator, and she is a passionate leader. Before the age of 25, she accomplished investing in real estate. She owned a tech company and raised $30 million for in 28 days. That's a lot of money. Holy smokes. And she's launched an online book banking project for the top five financial institutions. She's a mover and a shaker, and she's the first woman to own a crypto hedge fund and currently works on smart technology and green energy projects. So welcome to the Tech With Heart stage, Sophia. Thank you, Michelle. It's so fun to be recreated by someone else. <laughs> well, we are delighted to have somebody of your caliber, your vision, and your especially knowledge around crypto. Today's topic is how businesses can fund their, their business with crypto. So right out the gate, I'm going to ask you, could you just simplify a conceptual understanding of what cryptocurrency is? Yeah, absolutely. So this is, um, thank you so much for this opportunity. I am very passionate about education and foremost, I'm also incredibly passionate about women's financial sovereignty. And what I'm about to share with you during this time period is um, just one of the most amazing gifts gifted to humanity, second to only the internet. So this is a way for women to get, and for all humans to get financial freedom and so let's take a, a step back before we go into all that information about all of the entrepreneurs out there, how you can leverage cryptocurrency in your businesses. Let's first talk about and give you um, just a basic knowledge of what is cryptocurrency. So in order to do that, we're going to take you back to what blockchain is. Um, blockchain is the technology that cryptocurrency um, exists upon. So blockchain would be, it's, it's merely simply a ledger of transactions. So think about your checking account when you um, you know, if you keep a record of your checking account, that's really all that blockchain is, except for it's a, you know, it's a software. So um, there's some golden laws that are with um, blockchain. And one of them is, is that it's uh, decentralized. That means that it exists everywhere, right? And it's because of that, because it exists out in the cloud and the ethers and on everyone's computer. So because of that, it's fully transparent, meaning anybody can see what's going on. So um, that right there makes it a trustless, um, a trustless event, right? Like I don't have to know you to do business with you because all of it is out in the open. Uh, the second thing is that it's immutable, cannot be altered. So that brings 100% integrity to the system. And the final thing is that it's unhackable, has never been hacked, will never be hacked. We would need far more superior computer powers over quantum computer type of things that we do not currently have the technology for to be able to hack that because everybody's computer would have to be hacked all at once all over the world. So we just don't have that uh, capabilities right now. So think of blockchain as if you were to have a PC, or even if you have a Mac, think about it as your operating system, right? So you've got your operating system on PC, it would be Windows and Mac, it's whatever you have. And um, crypto would be one of the types of applications that you utilize on your computer, such as like Word, right? That Or Zoom, that's an application, right? So you don't have to have crypto to have a blockchain. Just like if you've got a PC, you don't have to have Zoom. You could use, you know, the one from Google, Google Meets. You don't have to use Zoom, right? So that's blockchain. Blockchain doesn't have to have crypto. However, if you have crypto, you do have to have an operating system, which is blockchain. So 
What, I'm sorry, so what is crypto? So cryptocurrency is merely digital currency. So there's two types of currencies in the world. Fiat currency, which is like the dollar, the yen, the euro, things that you know, you've heard of. And everything else is digital currency. But here's the breaking news. You've been using digital currency for at least 20 years. If you've ever had a credit card or a debit card and used it, that's digital currency. So the only difference is, is that cryptocurrency doesn't have to go through financial institutions, whereas credit cards and debit cards go through merchant accounts and banking and get all kinds of fees. There's all kinds of um, transaction, transactional time limits and, and spending limits. There's all kinds of things like that. And that doesn't exist in crypto at this time. So cryptocurrency is merely digital currency that doesn't have to run through financial institutions and you've already been using digital currency. So Thank how you. is that? Does that break well, it? I absolutely love that explanation because it really does paint the picture. I think that's what a lot of people struggle with is why, why crypto and what is it, you know, but what you, how you explained it makes sense. I'm going to also give another visual analogy too, is that um, when the internet was born, it was never really designed for financial transactions, the yeah. way that blockchain is being set up, is going to provide us with so much more security and the inability for people to corrupt it is beautiful. So think about this as the new way of doing business that's safer for all involved. And um, it's instantaneous and the, the tracking abilities and everything is just so much light speed years ahead of the traditional internet that we've all come to know. So um, yes, it's a definitely something that we can't trust in the way it's built. It's just, there's just so many verification points along the way. It's just like she said, unhackable, at least far more unhackable than all of these hacks that we're seeing on the internet right now. So, yes. okay, perfect. So with that said, we're, we're specifically trying to empower and enlighten entrepreneurs so that they can look at cryptocurrency as a mechanism in which they can fund their own business. So what is like the first thing that you would like to share in that regard with entrepreneurs? Yeah, so there's several ways to make money um, in a business through cryptocurrency. So I'm going to talk about there's the funding of the startups, there's your cash reserves, there's um, funding for nonprofits, there's, there's just various things. And I wanna to touch upon all of those. So what I first wanna talk about are the four different ways that you can fund a startup using cryptocurrency. And that could also be, when I say startup, that could also be um, if you've got a new division, if you've got expansion, whatever that looks like, if you wanna fund, self-fund something that you're doing. Cryptocurrency, here's some ways to do it. So the first thing is through private funding. So the immediate advantage um, is the strengthening of public trust when it comes to a startup is that it comes in the form of venture capitalism, uh, investors, uh, private equities, uh, angel investors. And for certain types of startups, the security of cryptocurrencies makes it highly appealing to these investors. So Crunchbase is a really good database for you to look at, and it lists over 470 different startups that have been funded with crypto. And that list is old, so there's a lot more since then. And many of them are in fintech, so in other high-tech sectors that require a high degree of security. So you want to look at if you're going to do private funding and you want to appeal more to those by giving them added security, which is what we talked about, immutable, unhackable, fully transparent. Investors, this is a game changer for investors. Before they had to rely upon business owners providing documentation of what's going on with their investments. So we don't need to rely on that now. It's, it's, um, it's fully transparent. So if you are taking on cryptocurrency, that becomes um, an added benefit that will put you over your um, anybody else that's competing for the same funding. Um, the fact that you can offer that to your investors. The second way is through an ICO, which is, stands for initial coin offering. So you can mint your own coin for your project. And it's the, it's equivalent of an of, uh, initial private offering or an IPO that you hear about in traditional businesses. It's exact same equivalent, it's just done for the digital currency. Uh, so it basically in cryptocurrency, it's a form of crowdfunding. And it's a method where investors can buy a specific number of tokens that will provide them platform access. 
and it's not considered regulated. So that's the downside is that you've probably seen in the last five years, a lot of ICO stories that have gone out where they've raised 200 million in like three days. Um, the thing is, is that it's not considered regulated and there are a lot of challenges going on in the courts right now. The courts are trying to catch up and formulate regulations around that. So an answer to that has been STOs, secured security token offerings. So an STO um, used as a crypto fundraising, it's a method that can adhere, it can adhere to those regulations. So in a nutshell, a security token is a cryptocurrency that has the backing of real assets. And it also complies with SEC regulations. And so they have lower risks compared to ICOs. So I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, the dollar, the US dollar is not backed by anything. Uh, it's just backed by the faith of the people and the faith that we have in our government. We got off the gold standard a very, very, very long time ago. So there's nothing backing our money. In cryptocurrency, the one that most people are familiar with, Bitcoin, nothing backing it, absolutely nothing. Again, the good faith and what everybody believes in it, and it was the first. And the great thing and another great thing and benefit about cryptocurrency, I'm just gonna throw this here as like a little, a little tip, a little hack, is that whenever you want to um, inquire about a cryptocurrency, here's where the full transparency comes in. You just go to Google, you type in the name of that cryptocurrency that you're interested in looking at, and then type in the word white paper. Every cryptocurrency has to have a white paper when it's minted. And that tells you who the team is, what's the purpose, if there's anything backing the cryptocurrency, how much cryptocurrency is minted, how will it be released, all the vital information. So once again, you don't have to rely on hearsay, the news media to tell you if this is a good currency or not. The responsibility is completely given to you and you can make a solid decision because the facts, the pure facts are given to you right there in that white paper. So another, a third way for businesses to utilize um, cryptocurrency to fund is the, um, the IEO, which is the initial exchange offering. So that's a method that's facilitated by an exchange that usually platforms such as um, KuCoin, um, Binance, and their token sales are implemented through these platforms and they're the token issuers, so that would be you, you have to pay a listing fee together with the percentage of the tokens that are sold in the IEO. So in exchange, the tokens of the startups are sold on the platforms for you and the coins are listed once that deal is done. And then, so they're listed on the exchange. And then the exchange takes a percentage of the tokens and provides incentives to help the marketing operations of the token issuer. So the participants of the IEO do not provide contributions to the smart contracts. So the smart contracts is back to the blockchain and, and how the money gets realized and dispersed out. So you just have to create an account on exchange platform. It's a lot easier way to do it, but then you make less money because you know, they're burdening the cost and the platform, the creation of all that. So the contributors will then fund their wallets with the coins and use those funds to buy the tokens of the company. So that was a lot being said. <laughs> being able to do business online is crucial for survival, especially during times of social distancing. So how do you survive and thrive in the sea of digital noise? It's a lot like fishing. You need to know who your perfect customer is so that you can use the right kind of lure to attract them. We help you catch your perfect customer and retain them for future sales through highly converting websites, influencer mobile apps, getting you featured in the news and on TV. Hi, my name is Jerry Bowden, U.S. Army veteran and president of Revealio Software Solutions. Our goal is to help you rise above the competition, be seen as an expert authority in your industry, and embrace technology to stay competitive for long-term success. It's more affordable than you may think. So reach out to us at Revealio.com and together we will make your business come alive. Those are the different ways. It really was. And I want to kind of just um, go back to what we are comfortable with. And so what we know, and then how are we can potentially start opening this mindset to embracing cryptocurrency because we, you know very well, and I know very well that this is our future. 
um, at some point, the US dollar as, as we know it is likely going to just disappear because of technology and the advances of it and the security inherent within blockchain. Um, however, let's let's talk about um, funding from investors at this moment. What are you seeing um, percentage wise of investors, whether they're angels or VCs, open to investing in this manner? Are all would, are the majority of investors already embracing cryptocurrency? Can you share a little insight on what you're seeing out there? Certainly. So in the last 10 years, the majority of multimillionaires and billionaires all came from cryptocurrency. So their portfolios of their wealth were accumulated in the cryptocurrency space. So that tells you something right there. Second of all, there are massive tax incentives for keeping your money in cryptocurrency, um, meaning you know, keeping it there versus taking it out and transitioning it into fiat currency. So if there's a tax incentive for me to uh, keep my money in crypto, then the more ways that businesses can allow me to do business with them, that's who I'm gonna do business with. So there's a whole economy that exists that you're probably not aware of unless you're really deep into cryptocurrency that exists only with cryptocurrency. You can, you can never use fiat. So there's resorts, there's travel companies, there's planes, there's um, all kinds of things. Everything you can think of that we have right now, there's miniature you know, models of it, miniature worlds that are going on simultaneously where you can only participate with cryptocurrency. So you, you basically live crypto, right? So you're not using any fiat. And if you show up and try to pay with, it doesn't matter if you have a million dollars in cash, not gonna get in. So there's, there's a whole world that you're gonna open up to yourself by um, allowing just, just the step one, allowing people to do business with you with cryptocurrency, which is a really easy thing. It's just a merchant account. And PayPal is allowing cryptocurrency. Um, there's, um, which is probably the biggest, a lot of the, the large banks are now allowing cryptocurrency. A lot of the um, investment companies are like Fidelity and all of them are starting to allow you to do cryptocurrency. If, if COVID showed us something, if, in parts of the world, wherever you're listening, you may have experienced this. There were a lot of places of business that would not, even to this day, do not allow you to give them cash because the virus, viruses are transmitted through cash. And you probably saw these little signs everywhere that said that there was a coin shortage. So what was behind that? Another thing, money is dirty. There's, a, there's something behind that saying dirty money. And it is the fact that it actually transmits stuff. So what was happening is they were, they were only taking credit cards. Well, that's why cryptocurrency came to the forefront because that's the safest way to do it. And it's instantaneous and there's no fees. So a lot of times if you do a wire transfer, you've got to wait like three days and there's some, some fees going on with that. Uh, cryptocurrency is zero fees and it's instant and it's negligible fees sometimes if you have to pay. It doesn't matter if you transfer a billion dollars or 10 cents, it's, it's just that quick. Well, I wanna just also highlight a, a few things that you mentioned in that last statement was the fact that as small business owners, we don't necessarily have to go into investing in cryptocurrency ourselves, the goal here is to open your doors yes. to people funding you or you even being able to fund yourself through your own services and, and products by accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment. And she mentioned a few like Fidelity, PayPal. PayPal itself is one of the first biggest um, I know every, they were one of the bigger ones back in the day. And then they kind of, I don't know, for some reason, kind of weighed, weighed down a little bit. And then Venmo and Cash App and all these other apps started appearing. But PayPal is leading the way when it comes to crypto, accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment. And like she mentioned, there's no additional fees for you to accept cryptocurrency. PayPal is handling that transaction. So let me just explain, when you accept cryptocurrency, these um, merchant account systems are set up so that they convert the cryptocurrency for you. Am I correct in saying that? So That's correct. So, and, and, and you don't even have to say it that way. Let's say it this way. 
when you go abroad, whatever abroad is for you, and you pull out your credit card or your debit card, all of that's being handled. You're not paying with whatever dollar, whatever the currency is of your country. You're paying with the currency that's in that country. It's the exact same process. So there's no need to explain what's going on because you're, you're already doing it if you've traveled anywhere outside of your own home country. The, the companies are already making all that happen and you don't even know how that works because you don't have to, it just works. And I also love the fact that you mentioned, you tight, lightly mentioned the tax benefits of opening the doors to allow people to do uh, transactions with you with cryptocurrency because um, as, as soon as somebody takes their, converts their crypto into fiat currency, you were saying they, they take a big hit. Can you explain just quickly a little bit about that? Yeah, so the first way that I mentioned out of the four ways that businesses can uh, leverage cryptocurrency, the first way is for funding startups and projects and scaling, right? The second way is um, we'll talk about tax incentives. So there are a lot of tax incentives. Um, so I'm just going to give you a brief example because I'm, I am not a CPA and I am not a lawyer. So you need to seek counsel with everything that I'm saying. I want to make that clear. And we pay our lawyers well and we keep them on retainer as well as our CPA. And I suggest um, any businesses that are looking at this, do the same. Create that and make that part of your team because it'll be well worth it. The financial uh, reward is well worth the cost of adding those team members. So tax incentives. There's a lot of different ones um, in utilizing crypto. Um, you can even have zero taxes. So we'll, we'll start with, we'll just use Puerto Rico as an example. So Puerto Rico has um, some tax incentives to where if you will are willing to live there for six months out of the year, like you can't be leaving, you have to physically be there for six months, um, you, you pay zero taxes and you can even start your companies there on crypto, on crypto. So it doesn't matter if you start with a thousand and you make 200 million, no taxes on that. So there's a lot of different ways and there's ways that if you transfer money um, and utilize it through crypto, your um, tax occurrences go down. There's, there's a lot of different methods to that. Perfect. So that's so, the second way. Oh yeah, this has been great. I know and I appreciate you just alluding. Uh, that's all we're doing here is just alluding to yeah. the strategies, just opening the mind to embracing crypto sooner rather than later. You know, it's one of the things Tech With Heart is so passionate about is helping entrepreneurs embrace technologies that are going to help them stay competitive and relevant. And that's exactly what we're talking about today, as well as ways you can actually fund your business. You mentioned also a little bit about nonprofits um, being yeah. able to accept. Can you go ahead and share with us another right. way nonprofits can use this? So the third way businesses can um, make money with cryptocurrencies just to accept cryptocurrency. That should be where you, everyone should start. So the way, like what is Princeton, MIT, American Red Cross and UNICEF all have in common? The fact that they're all nonprofits and the fact that they all raise the majority of their money in the last few years through accepting cryptocurrency for their donations. So, um, and that's any business can accept cryptocurrency, right? That's step one. But for nonprofits in 2017, to just kind of give you an example, the three top nonprofits um, in 2017 raised $38 million from doing just this one thing. They accepted cryptocurrency as donation. That one thing brought in 38 million extra dollars. They didn't do anything else different except for add a button that says you can donate with crypto. So, um, and for example, I'll, I'll tell you about what, how we were talking about tax incentives, Pineapple Fund, it's an amazing fund. They did one donation, a single donation of $55 million. So there's a lot of money to be had out there um, where people, even tax incentives are not, it's just very secure and there's transparency, there's, it's trustless. There's so many reasons why you want to be accept crypto, uh, you want to accept cryptocurrency. So it just, it's going to attract a whole nother level of business and investors and money and resources to you. I always say that if you really want to rise up quickly in your business, then you need to hang out with those that are where you want to be. And so if you want to raise money for your business, then you need to open the doors in which you are going to make it super easy and efficient and also tap into an otherwise untappable market by not playing where, where they're playing. I mean, so you need to definitely consider this con uh, concept 
uh, Sophie, <laughs> Sophia, you're going to share with us a little bit about how, if anybody is interested in reaching out to you, or, um, where can they go to learn more about you? And then also, I know you do have a free gift for our audio listeners. They're not going to be able to see it, but uh, we will put a link up on the um, inside of the notes section of the podcast, but also um, share with us where they can go to learn more about you and then what your free gift is to them. We'd be happy to. I have one more point. Can I give them one more little nugget? Oh, my bad. I apologize. Please hit on your one more point. Right. This the is last amazing. point is your cash reserves. So businesses can utilize their cash reserves to invest in crypto. So I'm going to give you two big examples that you can read about anywhere. So Tesla and MicroStrategy. So Tesla was in the red and there were some other things that brought them out, but the thing that really pushed them out to the fact that they came out of the red to be able to go to Mars and have enough money to do it um, in micro strategies was that they used their cash reserves to invest in Bitcoin. And that alone shot them way over their competitors and over the moon and made them flush with cash. So really look at where your cash reserves can go and, and how you can put that instead of into a savings account, there's ways you can put it in. There's dividend pools, which means you can um, also have own the, the cryptocurrency, which is like owning a stock and get paid monthly cash dividends or daily cash dividends. So that's the other way. So I just wanted to drop that little tidbit for you. And I also just wanted to tell you that investing in digital currency protects your business against counterfeiting, threats of fraud, um, even inflation, which is coming up and we're hitting right now, at least in the States. So um, it's advantageous due to the, the minimal cost, the transparency, the accessibility, and the ease of use with them. So um, ways that you can um, do business with me is and meet up with me. And I also have a free gift. So let me start with that. So we um, highly, highly, I'm very passionate about education, as you can see from my, um, my passion and my talk. And thank you so much again, Michelle is um, we created Cryptonics, which is an educational system for beginners that brings you all the way through kind of like what I did. What's blockchain? What's cryptocurrency? How do you buy it? How do you use it? How do you protect yourself in that space? Tax, all that stuff. And I'm giving you the first video for free. We sell it for $1,000 out in the public. You can get it anywhere and go on the website and get it. But the first video is yours for free. And it's the longest video out of all of them. So there is a bit.ly link that I'm sure Michelle will make um, available to you guys. And the other way to get a hold of me is uh, the best way is through LinkedIn. And it's Sophia Olivas is my handle. So thank you. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Sophia. Yeah. So what is one one thing, just one thing, and you have shared a plethora of just, <laughs> wow, amazingness when it comes to helping us understand the almost urgency. We need to take action sooner rather than later if you don't want to get left in lurch and you want to thrive right here and now. So, so what would be the one thing that you would like people to walk away from this conversation remembering? Yeah, I'm going to tie back to one of the first things I said, because this, if you will just hear what I have to say, it's going to stir curiosity in you, which is what I want to do. Cryptocurrency is the greatest gift to humanity next to the internet. So if you can remember that, that's going to make you curious as to why and start you down the rabbit hole. Well, thank you so much. This has been incredible. And so I want to also talk to you if you're watching or you're listening and you have amazing insights that you can share back with our entrepreneurial audience. We want to hear from you. We need more leaders in this Tech With Heart nonprofit network. We are here to serve, support, enlighten, and empower and embrace. We grow alongside one another. So please reach out to us. Go to techwithheartnetwork.com. Join our community there. Reach out to me. Get on the show, Tech With Heart show. But then also want you to know that Tech With Heart Foundation, which is our overarching foundation, has three programs. One is entrepreneurial. One is for supporting students that are underprivileged or underserved. And we even have a children's program for getting orphans and those that have been abandoned and even previously sex trafficked children placed in permanent loving home environments. So we are accepting cryptocurrency. You can go to techwithheartfoundation.org forward slash donate to donate to support our nonprofit and to keep those um, activities going for entrepreneurs, students, and children. And um, we are so delighted to be on the air with Sophia. This has been an amazing interview. 
And please check us out, techwithheartnetwork.com, our entrepreneurial program. Here is to your success.